is Jared, and uh, let's take a look at your UVs. Okay. Hmm. Probably would, I mean, you get more even checkers by cutting the face down the middle, but then you also have to um, uh, deal with a seam right down the middle of the face, so I tend not to put a seam down straight down the middle. Um, it seems like there's, yeah, I don't normally cut around the eyes either if I can avoid it. Um, so it's sort of a trade-off between having things be perhaps a, a little bit more stretching going on and having less cuts. Um, so I don't tend to do the lips thing and I don't tend to cut down the center or the eyes. I try to keep the face as one big thing. Um, I would tend to usually continue this back though. Oh, I guess you've kind of done it up here. Just a little makes for some unusual shapes here where this kind of I would cut cut off the ear as a separate thing you know continue that there and then I would cut the neck around here so I would you know I would tend to have that one be just moving so that but then continue this around there it just seems a little bit more of a logical arrangement um, and then actually just this and this not that that and cut that but then I don't think you well yeah, I don't necessarily think you need these And let's just see where we're at now. Um, I don't know why my hotkey's not working. Unfold. Sometimes I just do it twice, just to be and then Command L for layout. And yeah, I mean nothing looks particularly more stretched or anything. Whoops. We can try um, see what happens if I take this edge oh that didn't go through I'll leave that oops I'll leave that deselected it's hard to see what I'm selecting with those checkers on um ah, I keep missing just using control select if you select that yeah so I have the that front one selected and let's so let's just turn on the checkers and the color feedback and see how much worse it gets when I move and sew those. And then, but then unfold again. So it got a little worse. Um, why is it not? If I unfold, oh, there we go. It wasn't unfolding. What if I layout? Yeah, I mean it's worse, but it's not terrible. So that's sort of the trade-off. I tend to like to not deal with the seam in the center of the face. That's just such an obvious spot um, in exchange for having things be slightly stretched. Um. Yeah, again, I would say there's there's just way more cuts than you need here. There's this isn't too many pieces. I think you could just follow the example in the video. And again, here, way too many pieces. Really, it should just be, you know, one for each arm, one for the front. One. You should just be able to do this in four pieces. There's just so many cuts here. Um, so many different little... And it's just going to make texturing harder. Um, that That's right. That looks good. And this looks kind of like a lot. Like I think there's these two lines here. I think that's there's at least one extra there. 
Although I would have this bottom shape be one rather than cutting it across the middle there. And then same with here, I think that could all, all the way out to the edge there, I'd have that be one. So I wouldn't try to have it wrap around there. I'd have the this be the edge that's cut right there, not this inside one. But then I'd also lose this down the middle, and I'd lose this one going across. Um, and then there's some extra stuff here where you've got like this, like this I'd probably connect here, and then get rid of these cuts. So yeah, I would do this a lot differently. Maybe just review the videos on those and go by that a little bit more.